to do YouTube. It's your boy Spray Paint back at you with another video. Shout out to everybody that been rocking out with the kid, man. You know what time it is when you step in the building, smash that button. You know what I mean? Hit the like button one time, dislike it, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Just do some type of reaction. But anyway, this video here is about Young Turk. You know what I mean? The hot boy legend. Shout out to hot boy Turk. And, you know, he was stating that Soldier Slim was the Tupac of New Orleans. You know what I mean? I got to... I got to touch in on this subject because I'm a diehard Louisiana fan when it comes down to gangster music. You know what I mean? I don't care what nobody say. Louisiana, when it comes down to y'all gangster music, man, that shit can't be denied. That shit hard. I mean, all of it. You know what I mean? Uh, but anyway, us out-of-towners, well, I'm going to speak for myself. I'm going to make an I statement. Me and my homeboys, you know, we always thought Master P was the talk of New Orleans. You know what I mean? Overall, we thought, you know, New Orleans as a whole, we thought P was the face of it, you know? Because you got to think about it back then. It wasn't no social media platform, you know, no YouTube or whatever. All we knew was what we was reading from the Source Magazine, Double X Magazine, you know, Rap City and shit like that. So we was going off popularity, you know. But Turk said, you know, he, he, he even said in the past when it came down to the camouflage era, like, that came from Slim. The soldieries, that came from Slim. And he also says, like, the lingo. You know, they said Slim had a cold wordplay, which you can hear if you pay attention to uh, what he be saying on any of his albums. You feel me? Like, he, 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 he was hell. You feel me? Slim was that guy. But like I was saying, for years, it was always big debates about who had the biggest influence in New Orleans. And we would say it was either Birdman or Master P. You feel me? But hearing it from a reputable from Louisiana, you know, that just let us know, like, how big Slim was to the whole city. You feel me? Like, even to the world. Because let's just be real. And I know I'm probably going to be the first, one of the first bloggers to say this. And I, I, I believe Slim was the first rapper to put the cross between his eyes, which that he said was a, a soldier sign. You know what I mean? He had to be the first rapper I've seen with that cross between his uh, eyebrows and he had that tat on um give him to give it to him raw the first album you see what I'm saying and later on you know as we became us out of town as we became big slim fans or whatever of course we wanted we was rocking out with him because he spit that real y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comment section I'll spray paint I'm gone.